Hey guys, welcome back. Got some new stuff going on today. This is uh, just experimenting with some new stuff, so uh, I'm gonna bring you into that in a little bit here. But I'm this is my new aquarium I set up here. I gave these guys a new uh, habitat to live in. It's a wider and taller. I already had this aquarium, but I decided that this, since I lost a couple fish due to old ages, and they are bigger. And these guys aren't as big. They are big, but not as. So I decided that I will give them this home. And it looks beautiful. I bought a new LED light. Check this out, guys. It's the coolest thing I've seen so far for a fish aquarium, I think. They can go through the colors. You can go from, you know, that. Darker, darker. To that. To that. Into that. Or we can go like that. Which drives him nuts for some reason. And kind of like a black light, I guess. He really glows. And this one kind of goes through different, different uh, modes, I guess. As you can see, it's kind of, I think they call it a cloudy, cloudy day or something. Or We'll go through this. No, this would be cloudy day here, sorry. Which it is today. I'll show you in a sec. It's pouring rain. Actually, I like this one. It's one of my favorites. Then you go to this, which is thunder and lightning. And there's an even better one. Woo! That is so cool. And that's just kind of like a dim, dark, and there's even darker black light. Yeah, it's pretty neat. As you can see, it's changing colors. I'm going to leave there. Anyway, yeah. I love my fish tanks. Then I got this guy over here put these guys in a bigger aquarium. This is like a 30 or 35 gallon here. And I got some new fish added in there. There's some Cardinal Tetra, which are like a Neon Tetra, but even cooler looking, I think. Prettier. Very bright. Like a, they're kind of a Neon. And we got a Swordtail here. I actually just lost a, uh, I don't know, he committed suicide or something, but I lost a uh, platinum angelfish this morning. Kind of upset about that one. And actually right here, check this guy out. New addition here too. You guys know what that is. If you guessed it right, that is a Siamese fighting fish, and that's a male crown tail. King crown tail. Beautiful. And we got a flame tetra there. I got a pleco underneath here. He's kind of nuts. And he's kind of big. I don't know. I'm probably going to take him out put him in the bigger tank too with the other one. And I'm just going to get smaller algae eater for this because he just makes a mess all the time. And I'm always cleaning up after him. We don't like that kind. But yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on so far. And uh, in a second from now, I'm going to bring you into the reptile slash insect room. Alright guys, this is the beginning of my um, plant terrarium type deal I'm going to have going on here. This is all going to be full of like like indoor trees, plants. There you go, these guys. Got a, uh, we've got like a, you know, an empty table here with uh, some cocoa substrate little uh, decor ornaments if you will can you guys guess what I got going on here I bet you can't this is a species I've never really dealt with but I've had lots of different pets and types of things in the uh, you know in the past so I decided to give her a go and maybe you know just keep on going and going with them and see how far I can go but uh, anyways guys my new addition, and I'm going to actually, um, I know she's a bit small, but I'm going to, 
I'm going to give her a bit bigger of a home because I just think she, she just deserves it. We got here a Canthascura. Can you guess what that is? That is a Brazilian white knee in uh, layman's terms. But uh, we're going to give her a new home today. That's what we're doing. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So this is the Canthascura Janiculata. And we're going to be giving her or him a new home today. So it's not going to be a super long video, but I'm going to be doing tarantula feeding videos, even when it's a sling. As you can tell, it's just a baby sling still. But uh, I figured I'd do some tarantula feeding, uh, feeding videos and, you know, I gotta get a bunch of different species and see what happens. Oh, Leo, where are you going? Leo's roaming in my house. Just like usual. Oh, we better get this in the shot. I can't really see, can we? Okay, well, there's, there's the uh, new enclosure we're gonna be using. We're just gonna give this a little spritz down. I don't want it too wet, but. Just a bit for a spider to drink out of because I don't really think that putting a water dish in here is necessary at this point in its life. Maybe some of you do, but she's pretty small and I think we can get away with just spritzing the uh, container. So we're just going to stick this in here kind of like this. We might not use it all, but I figured we'd have to throw a couple chunks of this in here. This is just plastic ornament. Crap fake grass type stuff I guess if you will. Stab a hole there, stick her in, push it back over. Now as I said I'm not a pro at this by any means but Let's give her a go and see if we can give this tarantula a new uh, enclosure. I'm going to get a little thin here just in case she tries to escape on me. Let me see what I got here. Okay, guys, we're back. I got a container of some kind. All right, we're ready to go. Let's see what this girl's made of now. We're gonna call this thing Bumble for now because the abominable snow monster that says white knees. I don't know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this container and I'm gonna try to just try to put it in like this, maybe. See if she'll come out. I might have to use a, uh, a tweezer or something here just to. the spider because nor do I want to with the tweezers. She just doesn't know what to think. Oh, she's in. Here we go. Voila. There you go, girl. You're in your new home. How do you think? What do you think of that one? 
Well, she's in her enclosure, guys. There she is. The Brazilian white knee. And you can see it between the knuckles of the spider. There's those little white knuckles there, see? And once she gets older, he, they're going to get more prominent and more black in here. And maybe the pink hairs will probably stay. They got urticating hairs, too, which uh, when they get agitated, they kick, kick them off. But that's like, you know, a lot of tarantulas have those, so... We're going to put the lid back on her and let her rest now, get rid of some stress. So that's the new home, girl, what are you thinking? You like that? Now I already fed her today or else I would have done a feeding video, but I will make sure the next video to show you what it looks like for this little gal to eat. Well, there's the first one I got right there, my very first tarantula. She's in her new home, happy, on the shelf. That's going to be for when she gets bigger, because she's supposed to be a pretty big spider from what I'm told. So I'm going to use some alcohol, clean that out. You know, that's going to be the new habitat there. So hopefully she's, uh, I'm pretty sure she's happy in that new enclosure. She looks like she's moving around. Just get her used to everything there. But I can definitely see her better in this enclosure too, because it's clear. So that helps. Yeah, I kind of like, I love plants and stuff, so this is going to be all plants in here, guys. Everything you see here is going to be full of plants. There's going to be a little walkway for me. I'm going to have to move this out of the way, but I figure it's good for my bearded dragon, too, because he really likes plants. Really, really likes them. But yeah, so there's the, uh, the tarantula rehousing. Hey, Leo, what are you doing? Leo. Hey, what are you up to out here? Huh? Oh, your beard's black. Why didn't you stay in your room? Come here. Leo. Yeah. He likes to wake out and travel around the house. I guess why wouldn't he, right? Makes sense. Anyways, guys, I'm going to uh, take him back in his room. Make sure you hit that like like uh, the uh, like button if you liked my video. Make sure you share it. Um, leave a comment. And like I said, hit that like if you want to see some tarantula feeding videos. I'll get more tarantulas, all kinds of different species, and we'll keep plugging away at it and see what happens because I really love tarantulas. And also, I was thinking some scorpions. What do you guys think? But until next time, make sure you uh, leave a comment, make sure you leave a like if you like the video, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll see you on our next adventure. Oh, by the way, I have a ghost hunt, which turned out awesome. We got some amazing stuff. I am going to do my best to try to get uploaded in the next couple days. Something happened. The computer crashed the other day when I was trying to upload it. Uh, three times I tried, guys. I even tried to do a premiere. Something got screwed up with it, so I had to cancel everything. I'm going to try and do it again uh, after I upload this video, so hold tight. we got a brand new ghost hunt. You guys will love it, I promise. So make sure you come back. Thanks again for stopping. We'll see you soon. Okay.